the greatest opportunity we have uh, to help a, a homeless youth or, or troubled kids or youth at risk or however you want to define that is in that prevention phase. 1989, I was pushing a real shopping cart around Vancouver's downtown east side. I was a strung out heroin addict. I'd cycled out. I lived underneath the Georgia Street Viaduct. I'd made every conceivable mistake that a young person could make. I was a high volume contact person with police. I wasn't a threat as much as I was a nuisance. And I struggled with mental health and I struggled with addiction. And I couldn't find the doorway out on my own. You may never know the impact your mentorship has on another person. And my partner and I got called to admit her just outside of Barry for a suicidal male. So we met this person's mother and she related us to the fact that her son was very despondent. He had been in a drug-induced haze for the last couple of days. And that night when she went down to check on him, she found him with a gun in his hand and he refused to give it up. So that male was Joe Roberts. It's my story of transformation began with the Ontario Provincial Police. And, you know, that really helped open a big door for me. Um, led, led me back to school, uh, eventually success in, uh, in the corporate world. And I got to a, le a level, a place, uh, I suppose, where I began asking the question about legacy. What could I do to give back to a country that's given me so much? And really understanding from my own experience, um, you know, where, where we can invest better to help support prevention models and, and really kind of catch it before it happens. And the idea was simple, push a shopping cart across Canada. It's a symbol of chronic homelessness. If we could go from one end of the country, leverage my story, and, uh, and raise awareness and dollars to help invest in youth homeless prevention so that every young person has the opportunity to grow up and transition safely into adulthood and not have to, to, uh, to fall through those cracks. Well, I see this as a huge investment in our youth across the province. You know, our support of the push for change is so important because it's not just about the event. No. It's about the long-term piece and what you can do to, uh, to uh, build that awareness piece and help us from a community perspective in each of those communities as you travel through the province of Ontario.